Yo, what up crew? Welcome back to another vlog. If you are a fan of Nicki Minaj, you might like what we're talking about. And if you're looking for her song that she just released, don't worry about it. We definitely got it for you guys. So, uh, like I say, man, this is a pretty big song. And it's some shade thrown in this song, man. So, let's get into it. But before we do, man, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for the song... All you gotta do is check in the show more directory links below to the full song so you guys can check it out for yourself man but like I say this is a very big song it's also a lot of shade being thrown in this song at Nicki's boyfriend a lot of people say it's being thrown at so free uh, and uh, let's just get into it man now the song features Drake and Chris Brown that's the first big thing all right this is the first time I think they worked together since that whole incident and uh, I guess they really put everything behind them man you know I guess since once Rihanna made them both exes they ain't got nothing to fight about you know what I mean but now let's get into the song like I say Chris Brown Drake and Lil Wayne all on one track with Nicki it's produced by Dr. Luke Circuit and J Mike three producers but this kind of sounds like the boy won the Chirac beat to me y'all let me know if it sounds similar but let's get into these verses man now Nicki she starts off right away with addressing like she never slept with Wayne she never slept with Drake but if she did she would probably do it at the same time and let him eat her like cake Alright, she also addresses, um, you know, the the butt injection rumors, and she addresses her haters, you know, standard Nikki fair and whatnot. Uh, she also addresses her man a lot in this verse, you know, whether they on the plane, whether they in the sack, whether he putting a ring on a finger, stuff like that. So she is talking about a significant other now. Whether it's Scaff Breezy, we don't know. Uh, now let's get into Drake's uh, verse, but before that, let's get into Chris Brown's little chorus. Now to me. Chris Brown chorus, it's just standard fare really, but it kind of sounds like it was meant for Young Thug. I think Young Thug wrote this chorus and then they swapped out Young Thug for Chris at the last moment, man. But uh, Drake's verse, you know, he starts off with Nicki left off. He says, you know, he never been in the sack with Nicki, but it's only because she got a man. But as soon as she don't, he's going to be next in line. So that was a little shade thrown at her dude. And then also he says that uh, he likes BBWs. And, and we all know this. I mean, Drake loves the stripper so that's nothing new uh the funny thing about this verse though is kind of like toward the end he started using this ray shrummer flow you know the no flex zone type of thing and you know drake is known to do this where you're talking about migos or or you know people saying that he sounds similar to big shine uh so this was kind of funny that he kind of like switched it up and started doing other people flows um also he took another shot at scaff breezy or her man quote unquote when he said that you know if nikki ever wants to you know do something all they got to do is schedule a date um now we talk about lil wayne Lil Wayne goes into, you know, more shade being thrown. He says that, you know, he never done Nikki, but it looked like she needs some real love because she ain't getting the right D in her life. You know what I mean? So kind of throwing shade, more shade at Scaff Breezy or whoever her quote unquote man is. But uh, like I say, man, this is a pretty dope song. A lot of shade being thrown. We all know about the whole situation with her and Scaff Breezy, you know, him covering up the tattoos and all. And uh, so, I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe this was made shortly after that or just before that but i want to know what y'all think so make sure y'all hit me in the comment box make sure y'all share this across the social networks and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel we always do a lot in social media news music news and current events and we love to keep you guys up to date on what's going on in the world but that's it for this one i'll definitely see you guys on the next one make sure you guys follow me on twitter for more and i'll see you guys on the next vlog i'm out peace